So here's my arm, right? So it's made of electrons and protons and neutrons. And uh, if, I, if I have a soul in there, something that we don't understand, but it's a different kind of energy or whatever it is that we don't have in physics at the moment, it, it interacts with matter because I'm moving my hand around. So whatever it is, it's something that interacts very strongly with matter. And presumably, if you believe in the soul, you want it to exist outside. When you die, you still want the thing to be there. And you might believe in ghosts and things like that. Mm. I mean, look at a ghost. I mean, it's a, it is something that carries the imprint of you, presumably. It looks like you, right? So that means that it interacts strongly with the matter that is you, because mm. it carries a pattern. But if you look at the history of particle physics in particular, which is the study of matter, so we know four forces, the gravity, the two nuclear forces, called the weak and strong nuclear forces, and electromagnetism. And we look for another one, for example, for a fifth force of nature with ultra high precision and we don't see any evidence of it.